reviewing tasty halal food truck in High Point, North Carolina. Do I know where I am? Nope. But what I do know is this is a very popular food truck that everybody just goes crazy about. This food truck sells halal food. I love halal food. Let's see what this is hitting on. First, we're gonna start out with the lamb gyro wrap. Or is it gyro? It's always a big debate. Oh yeah, blossom. So you got this pita bread. Uh. So you got this pita bread, right? And inside we have these these cubed up pieces of lamb with green pepper, looks like zucchini, onions, and this white sauce. Now this white sauce is like a mayo yogurt based sweet sauce. You understand what I'm saying? It's actually really good. It brings everything together. Is this sandwich good? Hell yeah it is, man. But what I don't like about this sandwich is it's messy as f now, I like a lot of things messy. I mean, a lot. I like a lot of stuff sloppy, too. But this right here is just too much. We're judging the sandwich. It's definitely good. This is the sea kebab of a yellow rice. Mm hmm I see why y'all been gatekeeping this place. Not no more. So they give you not one, not two, not even three, but four pieces of sea kebab. And obviously, you get a choice of whether you want the, the white sauce on it as well. What is sea kebab? I'm going to tell you what, what it tastes like. Now, don't hold me to this. Now, this seems to be a combination of a few different types of meat, right? It seems like they also added some peppers, herbs, and spices to it. And they mounted it up into a, a, a little stick that's shaped like a, uh, a five-inch. Because when you bite into it, it's a little spicy. But it's tremendously flavorful. bro. Let's try the yellow rice. White, pillowy, and airy. This is the falafel of rice. So when I opened this up, I literally thought they, they burnt my shit. That's not quite the case, but it looks like they chopped this up and, and, and grilled it, which honestly is not a bad idea because it gives it a nice charred, crunchy taste. Falafel is one of those things to where you, it's either you like it or you don't. I don't particularly like it. It does have a mild, like a mild green nutty flavor to it because it is made with chickpeas. But when it comes to the taste, if you look for something that like really stands out, you ain't gonna get that with this. It's one of those dishes that just ain't for me. Last but not least, this is the chicken and lamb over rice. Mm. That is pressure. Take chicken, lamb, chop it up into cubes, and they just throw it on top of a bunch of bunch of rice and, and, and vegetables, right? Once again, you have the choice to get the white sauce, or, or if I'm not mistaken, this is hot sauce on this. No, nah, it's not hot. This plate alone can probably feed about four people. When I say they are not stingy with the portions when it comes to these type of platters, they are not stingy at all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, in all seriousness, this this right here got to be one of them plates that you've got to have after clapping some cheeks. A long night of just clapping some cheeks and being called daddy, you got to have one of these. FYI, everything that I got today only cost me $20. I'm going to put the address right here. I have no idea where I'm at, but I did take a, a, a view of where I was. And I'm sure the people at High Point will know where I am. If you're ever in High Point, North Carolina, if you're looking for some good halal food, this food truck is where it's at. Check this place out.